Today is Thursday, February 16th, and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Jacob Goldberg, here are today's top stories. The infamous Duke game campout starts tonight. The JMA Wireless Dome will soon be surrounded by eager fans of the Orange sleeping in tents. Tonight in particular will be a difficult night for Otto's Army as it's supposed to rain and the Duke versus Syracuse men's basketball game tips off Saturday at 6 p.m. And were you watching Jeopardy last night? Because if not, you should have been. SU was featured in a category called ACC School History. The $400 clue was as follows. In 1872, this New York school chose its official colors, pink and green. Its students chose orange in 1890. The answer, of course, was what is Syracuse? And Krause and Upstate Hospitals have decided not to move forward with their planned merger. An administration email to all staff indicates that they still believe the combined hospital would, quote, better serve our community, end quote. They said 2022 turned out to be a harder year for hospitals than peak pandemic years. So they're chosen, choosing to focus on affiliation strategies for right now. And a slate of Democratic candidates have been selected for the 2023 elections in Syracuse and Onondaga County. Veteran lawmaker Bill Kinney will challenge the incumbent Onondaga County executive, Ryan McMahon. Onondaga County Comptroller Marty Masterpool won backing from the committee for a second term. Seven candidates have been selected to campaign for Syracuse Common Council seats as well. And a DeWitt man pled guilty to federal drug and gun charges after over two pounds of fentanyl were found in his apartment. Traymon G. Wallace Jr. had the fentanyl pills shipped through the U.S. Postal Service. The 28-year-old had over $70,000 in drug proceeds. Police also found two pistols, one with an extended magazine and 31 rounds of ammunition. Wallace faces 10 years to life in prison. And coming up after the break, President Biden held a press conference today where he answered questions about the unknown aerial objects shot down by the U.S. military. Stick with us. Adventure can be found anywhere, but the best place to start is in the forest. I spy something beginning with S. Snow? No. Snow-covered trees? Nothing to do with snow. Head outside to discover incredible animals <laughs> and beautiful plants that come together to create an unforgettable adventure. Wow. So grab your loved ones. Don't even. And explore a world of possibilities. Come on, this way. Visit discovertheforest.org to find the closest forest or park to you. Today was the first time President Biden spoke on the three unidentified objects shot down in U.S. airspace. He says the United States is working to amend its approach on handling unknown aerial objects and that as of right now, there's nothing of concern. We don't yet know exactly what these three objects were, but nothing, nothing right now suggests they were related to China's spy balloon program or that they were surveillance vehicles from other, any other country. And yesterday's record high temperatures caused two ice fishermen to get stuck on Oneida Lake. One man drove his four-wheeler onto the lake and was 200 to 300 yards offshore when he got stuck. He was rescued by a helicopter. The other man was rescued by an airboat after undergoing a similar situation a couple hours earlier. Temperatures in the area were around 64 degrees, so it's safe to say the ice was not as thick as usual. And speaking of temperatures in central New York, you know, they've come slightly back to normal after what felt like July yesterday. Citrus TV weather anchor Cora Maricosta is live on the weather deck with more on the temperatures for tonight and the next few days. Cora? Well, Jacob, nothing can really compare to the beautiful weather we had yesterday. Right now is very, very cloudy, but it won't stay like this throughout the week. Currently, it is 46 degrees out, but there's a couple of wind gusts making it feel like 44. Now, tonight, be sure to wear a raincoat because there is a chance of a thunderstorm with winds up to 13 miles per hour. So looking at our three day forecast, Friday is going to give us a wintry mix with a chance of sleet in the morning. So you definitely want to stay in until Saturday. Saturday is going to be beautiful. And may I say, what a perfect day to beat Duke. It's going to be a great day Saturday, so be sure to go out. Do all your pre-game activities like throw a frisbee at the quad. And then Sunday is going to be a little cloudy, but it'll still have that sun. So you can go and enjoy your entire day outside that day. Jacob, back to you. Score coming up on News Live at 6. Recent changes have been made to the NCAA's name, image, and likeness policy. Citrus TV reporter Max Williams will tell us how SU is responding to this. And that's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on Twitter or check out our website at CitrusTV.com. I'm Jacob Goldberg. Have a great evening, Syracuse.